Two yeah, cameras. We're gonna give a go. <laughs> you copy me. Yeah. Oh. Are we ready for some cake? Yeah. Let's get cooking. Just give me With a baked Alaska, you need it's to it. eat it more or less straight away. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna reduce the quantities of this recipe very slightly, just so we don't have a massive cake that we need to try and eat between the three of us. We've got the oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, so we need to get on with that cake. So in the bowl, Alana, we need to put in our pound of butter. You ready? Ready. Oh, there it is. Icing, icing sugar. Icing sugar? Icing sugar. Yeah, not on this cake, not yet anyway. I'm just going to quickly cut up this butter slightly, just so it's a bit easier for us to mix. And then we will have the equivalent of a pound of sugar. What's this? Um, sugar. Sugar, yeah, in with the sugar. Don't worry. Mix this until light and fluffy, Alana. It's so fluffy. Fluffy, yeah. <laughs> One at a time. One. You want to help me? Yeah. Okay. Put that egg in. I'll put it. Okay. You're going to pour it in? Whoa. Great job, Alana. Yeah, I did it. You did do it. Now we've got to mix it. Mm. In with another egg. <coughs> going to put it in. Oh. Yep. Yeah, on your hand. <laughs> oh, baby. You stay there. Go. <coughs> okay. Go. Whoa, great job! Go on then. Whoa, did you see it? Now it's the flour. So, oh, you help him with me? Sugar. Flour, this one. Flour. I really don't know what to expect out of a pound cake or a baked Alaska. So this could be an absolute disaster, couldn't it, Alana? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for the faith you've got in my cooking. Okay. <laughs> Flour done. Flour done. I know normally you would do this in a bunt tin, or is it called a bunt pan, bunt pan, or a cake tin? But the recipe we're following for the baked Alaska is to make some smaller ones rather than one big cake. So that's what we're going to do. And this recipe for pound cake said that we can actually put it in life tins. So we're going to do it in life tins, make it into some smaller cakes, and see how that works. So let's get this in here, Alana. Yeah. Hot sauce. Mm. Eat, eat. Can't eat it yet. We've got to cook it. Why? Why? It's a pasta. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Mm. Let's pop it in the oven and join us a bit later when hopefully this pancake will be ready and we can get on with that baked Alaska. It's a good four pounds, I think, this pound cake. But it smells lovely. I'm hoping that when I cut it, it stays quite dense. Let's cool down. Let's pop it over here. I'm going to cut it in and try and make it a bit of a rounded shape because I believe that's what the baked Alaska is, like a bit of a, a dome shape. Yeah. Let's just go for this. I know I could have probably got something to compress it, but I was nervous that if I do that, it's going to completely crumble. So let's just, let's just try. Maybe cheat and do it with meringue. a bit more off there and I think I'll do the rest with the meringue. Mm. That's good, very good. It's not too sweet, I was worried it'd be sweet, but apparently this cake you have the next day gets even more moist and a lot better. I think it's maybe a little bit on the drier side than most cakes I've made before, but it does look good. I'm gonna spoil my dinner but and still, I haven't bought an ice cream scoop. I'm not sure how this is going to work. Hmm. And if you are enjoying this video, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It's completely free for you, but it really, really helps us out. Right, let's pop this back in the freezer before it all melts. So in here, I've got six egg whites. 
spoon. I don't need the spoon for this one, so into our bowl, ready for mixing. Well, I've not long finished work, so I'm here to try and help. <laughs> Someone was mesmerised by the transformation the of, of the egg whites, or the bubbles, yeah. Now we've got to go in with six tablespoons of sugar. Would you like to have a go? Mm, yeah. Do you want to help Mummy put the sugar in? No, Daddy do it. Oh, OK. Mummy, do this then? Yeah. Whoa. Uh, Daddy, a noise. <laughs> Daddy, a noise. The only other time we've made meringue is when we made those two banana puddings and the one with meringue on top. So that this will be the a bubble. It is bubbly. The second ever attempt at meringue. So now we've done that, we need to actually form this baked Alaska. This was another one that was created in New York. I think it was in <laughs> Delmonica's yeah. restaurant. And this one was created in honour of the acquisition of Alaska from Russia. A dessert was born. So we need to get this done. A try? Yeah, well, it's not ready to try yet. Huh? Wow. Don't really know how we go about making this pretty, but I think they're a lot bigger. I've made a small one with a lot of meringue. Well, that's pretty cool, eh? So there's apparently some science where the egg whites in the meringue insulate the ice cream and should stop it from melting. Oh, wow. Yeah. Also, there is an alternative of this one. I think it's called an inverted baked Alaska. Really? So what, the yeah. meringue's on the inside? No, it's actually called a frozen Florida. OK, so you have a hot toddy, which is like a, a hot... Well, I'm guessing a hot drink, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And then you put the ice cream in the meringue inside, frozen meringue inside the hot drink. Wow. Let us know in the comments if you've tried a frozen Florida before. I know this needs to look quite peaky for the meringue to do its thing. Oh, I see, yeah, because when the peaks get like nice little burn, don't yeah. they? Yeah. I think we're just going to go with that. We've got the oven preheated to 425 degrees Fahrenheit and it's in, ready to go in there for six to eight minutes, but we've got to keep an eye on it because hopefully no ice cream should start escaping. <laughs> Oh no! That'd be hot. Okay, just pretend you didn't see that bit. Desperately trying to see how it looks. Whoa. Wow. Okay. Oh, well, that kind of messed up a little bit, but that does look quite cool inside, doesn't it? Very cool. Right then. Okay, Alana's just run off, so she's not going to partake in the taste test time. Oh. Mmm. Do you want some? So, so just take a little bit of everything, or what? What's I the... think so. My, my ice cream is melting a bit here, but I'm just going to go for it whilst Alana decides if she's coming for a taste test or not. No. Ready? Cheers. Go for it. Oh. Mmm. There's such a contrast in the fluffiness of the meringue, the coldness of the ice cream, which is obviously yeah. a little bit harder, a little bit denser, and then you've got the cake. The cake. Her faces, I don't know if you saw, well, you didn't see them. She wasn't sure about what to make of this, I don't think. Do you like it? Yeah, cake. Not as sweet as I thought it was going to be. No. I thought it was going to be a lot sweeter. The cake isn't sweet in itself. I'm not sure if the meringue needed to be a little bit crispier. Can you please let me know in the comments down below if it's meant to be quite a crispy meringue or if it's meant to be soft? Because it feels quite soft. Mm. I need to have another bite to decide. <laughs> I really like the pancake. Yeah. I really like the ice cream. I'm not sure on meringue, but I've never been sure on meringue. It feels like it needed a little bit more. A little bit longer, a little bit crispier. But the thing is, if you left it in any more, the meringue would have burned. It would. This recipe was quite good for a quick one. I'm actually happy with the way it's come out. That's a big bit of cake. What would I rate it? Me personally, I'd probably go 7 out of 10. I'm probably going to go a 5. Not because of the taste, it's the texture of the meringue that's made me like a little bit... 
not sure of, but the cake's uh, actually nice. If this video has left you hungry for more desserts, then subscribe, it's absolutely free. Hit that notification bell to be notified every time we upload a new video. We bloody love you. And all that leaves us to say is... Take care. God bless. I'll see y'all in the next video.